how to get from this to this. So let's get started. Hello, this is Svetlana Vronska and welcome to Editing Monday. I am here trying to show you how to edit baby on the swing and I did, but my microphone was muted. So I have to do it again. As you see, I already edited it. Okay. This is my Lightroom. We did newborn photo session with this cutest baby. We only did two shots, him on the swing and he woke up and that was the last second of the session. So as soon, I couldn't even pull him a little higher. As soon as I wanted to pull him, he woke up. So I only have this photo to work with. And when he left the studio, I photographed the swing just itself. And I'm going to put baby on a swing. We are going to go to select subject. Thank you, Photoshop, for making our life easier. And before we were just manually selecting baby. All right. I'm using my move tool. Okay. It looks like it didn't pick up everything. So we're going to use my lasso tool, hold shift key, and we'll add this one to our selection. Let's see if it's more head. And since we're already using, we're going to remove the swing. We don't need it. All right. We again moving the uh, using the moving tool and we're going to place baby right there. Now, since it's easy for us to move baby where we want, we are going to place him even <laughs> even on the on the swing. Just a little bit. Now in size a little, maybe a little more. All right. Click enter and use mask black brush and remove access of this four we are going to click one more time to create vector and we're gonna place oops and we are going to use black brush to create a shadow and, just, and opacity will lower the opacity look you see you kind of you kind of want to feel the baby actually laying on that swing okay let's go back here back to black brush and remove this make it a little more smoother okay so click flatten the image now let's work with the background you can use curls, layers, texture, wherever you like to finish your image with your go, uh, filters you like to use. For example, some people don't use green, remove green, whatever. whatever. It's again your own pr preferences. I'm going to use layers. I'm going to go to my brush, back to brush and bring back his face. His shirt is so white, so it's kind of all attention falling on the shirt. So we want his face uh, brightened and we're going to lower the brightness of his shirt. Okay. That was the baby shirt. Again, he was ready to go home but we decided to take his picture. That's his own clothes. I just put pants on top. Yeah, we removed brightness because my eyes was falling constantly on this part because it's the brightest. Let's see all the way. Okay. And I'm going to use extra light again for his face and remove more redness. I do see the shadows from the, from this branch on, on, on the back. So you can play with it. I think it's easier with the brush opacity 30. It's okay to go over the branch because the opacity is low. It's going to kind of connecting with the background. Okay. And now uh, I like it perfect as it is. You can save it now. Ah, oh, no, 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 don't save it. Ah, because we saved first in Lightroom as a plain photo. That's my f first one I showed you. Let's go back. Yeah, let's go screenshot it. Let's go Oh, right there. We're going to save it again. Make sure you make double copy. So export. If you save it in Lightroom, export. 
export with previous so make sure you have an empty photo of just swing and then after you place the baby you save a copy save this image as copy and this is a newborn mark jpeg save and so it's going to be saved as copy so you are going to have two images one for your client and one for yourself you can just keep in separate folder just your uh, swing name it swings and use it okay i like this image as it is but i will try to add a little texture to create more interest to it i have few let's let's start with something um dramatic and we'll see if that works I'm gonna, I just blend it with overlay and I think that looks absolutely amazing. Kind of vintagey look as his head. Again, wherever you like, finish with your own preferences. I love it. We can, maybe we're gonna remove the opacity just a tiny bit. It's kind of um, noisy. People, I don't know, people, some people don't like noise. I love noise on photos. It creates mood. Okay, I just flattened the image and this is the final look. If you like it, put thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. That was Svetlana Vronska. Bye-bye.